much. Item 8G is an item we discussed briefly when we were looking at items that we might not want to review today. The first item is item 8G1, and this would allow the council to either approve or not approve of the project order for the MAPS 3 projects. Obviously, this has received a lot of attention, and we have two council people that are missing today. Councilman Shadid has, through Councilman White, asked that this item be deferred. Councilwoman Salyer is asking that it not be deferred, and so those two opinions expressed, as I just stated. What I'd like to do here is discuss the merits of a deferral, and so without getting too far deep into the idea itself, we discuss whether or not we want to defer the item. Otherwise, we'll go through a presentation and then defer an item, in which case we might want to have to have a presentation again. And it seems having a presentation on two separate meetings seems a little bit repetitive. And it would be nice to have the council people who are actually going to vote on that particular day, whether it's here today or in two weeks, available for the presentation. So with that, Councilman White opened up the discussion with the idea of a deferral. Why don't we give him a chance to speak on it, and as the math would have it, it would take four of seven votes to have this item deferred. If the item is not deferred, then we'll go through the presentation, and assumingly at that point we'd have a vote. I received a call yesterday afternoon from Councilman Shadid, who had a problem with a connection from an international flight and was in Boston and was not able to make the flight connection to get to Oklahoma City. At that time, he told me that the only way he could get to Oklahoma City was to expend $4,000 and drive tonight at night back from Dallas. He very much wanted to be here when we did this. I told him that I would advance. I told him I would advance his request for a continuance. And I guess the first thing I'd want to know is from the city manager, from your standpoint, from the city standpoint, is there a serious problem with the deferral of items of item G? We discussed it at the convention center yesterday. Right, we did. On to the program, we're looking for direction to go forward with it, so that's an item out there. We've had a fair amount of process from multiple presentations to council workshops and a presentation a few weeks ago. You know, it's a 10-year program on this. We're anxious to get going on it. Two weeks, you know, is not the end of the world on the program. It just seems to me that if we have even one council member, we talked about this earlier, that had made all kinds of plans to be here and is unable to do it, that just as a matter of the kind of civility that we've operated under the past several years, that we ought to do it. And when there is no real, other than anxiousness, there is no other real overriding concern about letting everybody be here and have their time at the microphone. The problem with any deferral, especially for the reason of a council person missing, is that we don't know what circumstances might take place two weeks from now and cause another council person to miss. So we don't necessarily know, you know, who might be here then. And I think it's a slippery slope to start deferring items based simply on the fact that a council person who can't be here wants it. If there obviously are four votes for it, then that's the way it's going to be. But I think we ought to be clear about why we're doing it. And if that is justification of it on itself, I think that sets a precedent going forward that's going to be tougher to deal with on an individual basis. Because you've been close on this issue. Are you anticipating a close vote on this item if we hear the presentation? Yes. And so therefore, the people that are actually here to vote could make a difference one way or the other. I think that's significant. If this makes it to be a unanimous vote, then I think it would be different than if we sensed that it might be a close vote. And it's obviously of extreme importance that the council have an opportunity to weigh in. This is about as important an item as we're going to deal with. To be perfectly candid, I think we have one person that will vote on one side of it and one person that will vote on the other. I mean, I wouldn't want to say that 
both those people are going to vote the same way, and therefore it would change the outcome. But I do think, as I said earlier, when we're, this is, this and the, and the decision about the convention center are things that are, are going to, they're, they're not, they're not one week long implications. They're not one, they're not even 10 year long implications. They're 50 years long implications. I mean, you look at the, you look at where the, what the decision that was made to locate the civic center, I mean, the, 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 what is it now, the Cox. See, I was, I have to remember all the different names that things have been. But it's, the Cox Center, that's a 50 year long decision. And it was a good decision. And, 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 so, I'm not as concerned that we enter some kind of a slippery slope with regard to continuances, because I think all of us would resist continuances just for the purpose of delay. But I think if there's a valid reason, like someone has made every effort to be here and can't be here, I would take that, I would, I would, maybe this is something beyond what I should say, but I might take that personally. And I'm not sure I wouldn't take it personally. If I had made a phone call and said, I, for reasons beyond, out of my control, I can't be here. To me, that's different than just saying somebody, I want to continue because I want to try to figure out, I'm trying to love it to death. I want two more weeks in order to figure out how to beat it. Or I want two more weeks, which I would plan to use that two weeks for that purpose to some, to some extent. But, but that's not the reason, that, that's not why. I know, but every one of us has missed a council meeting where we wish we'd have been able to be there and vote on something. And that's, that's, that's not unusual. I haven't. Okay. Well, you know, I, I think that. On to item 8i. This is the resolution. Mayor, Mayor. Pass it along. Yeah, Pete. I would like to reassert Councilman Shadid's request. He, he may be wanting to prepare his Christmas card list and he needs to know who to include and who not to include. So, I would move that we hear the presentation, but we defer the vote for two weeks. Okay. So, item 8i is the convention center site selection. And it has passed through the advisory board and is now at council. And this is the process that would send the MAPS staff and consultants scurrying to complete this project under the timeline that we've previously approved. As I said earlier, I would entertain options to defer this item at the beginning of the discussion of the item, which is where we are now. Pete has interjected that he'd like to see a deferral based on the fact that Councilman Shadid is not here and had asked for a deferral. Discussions on the deferral of item 8i. Well, to some extent, the same discussion that we had previously would apply here. We have no guarantee that there will be 100 percent participation in two weeks. We've had a lot of discussion on this. It's not a first time that this project has hit this council. And so, I would see very little value, if any, in deferring it. Okay. Any other comments or questions on the deferral? I would want to say this, and I failed to mention this earlier. I just think that, you know, out of pure respect and civility to each other, that a deferral being requested by a council person who can't be here through no fault of his own, I just don't understand why we can't respect that. I have stood here for the period of time that I've been elected. I've seen the mayor ask for a deferral. I've seen the manager ask for a deferral. And now we have a council person, simply because some of us may know that he may not support one way or the other, and to not respect a simple request for a continuance. Now, it makes no difference to now, because we've already voted previously, but I just want the record to reflect it. I just think that that's not... Okay. Other comments on the deferral of item 8i before we go forward, okay? Pete, you want to make a motion for the deferral? Skip, you want to second the motion on the deferral? Okay, we're voting on whether or not to defer item 8i. Cast your votes. And the deferral fails. 
by a count of two five